Okay, so on this problem, uh, we're just doing counting problems. And so what we're asked to do is count up a certain number of groups. So it says, Mr. Sheath randomly selects lab groups every month. There are 18 students in a class and three students per lab group. How many total lab groups are possible? Meaning, how many different combinations of uh, three students can Mr. Sheath put together? Well, this is a, as I said, a combination problem, right? Because you're, there is no order to how those three students are put together. So we've got to do a combination. We've got 18 students, and we're choosing three of them. It's a combination. So now we just need to evaluate this. And this is going to be, remember, it's 18 per mute 3 over 3 factorial, which equals 18 times 17 times 16 over 3 times 2 times 1. We'll want to simplify that, and when we simplify it, we can notice that 3 times 2 is 6. And so we can cancel 6 out there and then cancel 6 out of the 18 and get 3. And then we're just going to multiply 3 times 17 times 16, right? Because these are all gone on the bottom, so all we have left is the top. So 3 times 17 times 16 is 816. So there are 816 different groups that Mr. Schuth could choose to make. And so that's just, I mean, of, of all the different possibilities. So lots and lots of groups. Okay, number 10 says Mr. Tormelon has eight putters, none of them which are alike. Every time he goes to the golf course, he selects three of those putters. And just so at random, he selects three of those putters. So how many different groups of putters could he select? So again, this problem is like number nine. We're just selecting groups of putters. It doesn't matter which one he uses first, which one he uses second, which one he uses third. Okay, we're just saying how many different groups of putters can he do? So it's just going to be eight, choose three. So it's going to be eight permute 3 over 3 factorial, which would give you 8 times 7 times 6 over 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2 is 6, so that cancels the 6 out. So that shows there are 56 groups of 3 putters that, that Mr. Tormelon could, could take with him to the, um, to the golf course.